Let's have a look at a slightly more complex roof. So uh, in the roof tool, um, I've drawn a wall now that looks like this. Um, and I'm going to, use, I'm in the roof tool, I'm in the hip types of uh, construction called hip roofs. And I'm now going to uh, choose this one here that allows me to draw more complex roofs. Now, I, I showed you a technique earlier where we can automatically trace objects. So, for example, if I had a slab that was um, an unusual shape, like uh, something like this, and I was suggesting that one, one technique was to use an auto trace method. So, here's a slab. If I uh, take a wall, I can sp hold the spacebar key down. The cursor turns into a magic wand and I can click that slab. Now I can do the same thing with roofs. Um, that, what, what's happened here is the walls have been automatically traced over the shape of the slab. Now with a roof, I can do the same thing. Um, what I can do is hold the spacebar key down I can't click um, where the springing line is supposed to be, but I can click the outside edge of that wall. Okay. Now um, I'll zoom out so you can see. Oops, escape. I'll zoom out so you can see what happens. It automatically traces that roof over the edges of the walls. Now, if I want the springing line to be in its correct place, I can select that roof. And if I click the edge of the springing line and use this option here where I can, uh, sorry, let me grab the springing line from the corner, I can use this option here and then drag that springing line back to where it's supposed to be, the outside face of the inner skin. Okay. Um, and then there's a whole lot of things I can change. Um, so, for example, let's uh, put the marquee around this part of the building, generate a 3D. What it's done, it's automatically generated my hip roofs, my valleys, um, and I can alter those the same way as I did before. So, I can select any of those and, um, say, add a gable to, uh, to one end. Um, I can um, change uh, all sorts of things about the roof. Let's jump back into uh, 2D. Um, whether you select the roof at the fascia or at the springing line changes some of the ways in which we can edit the roof. So let me demonstrate that for you. For example, if I click on here and I want to, I can extend, say, just that uh, face out a little bit, what it's done is just extended that edge. Okay. Um, if I go to edit and undo, uh, it's a good keyboard command to, uh, to remember is control Z. You always can go back and change things. Um, I can also add shapes to my roof. So for example, if I go to the plus sign, and remember that I've selected it from the fascia. I can um, add, say, holding the shift key to constrain the movement of the cursor. I can um, add, I've double clicked at the end there, I can add a shape like this. What that has done has just extended one edge of the roof out. Okay. Um, I can control Z and undo that. If I did the same thing, but this time at the springing line, okay, um, I'm going to uh, click, click, holding the shift key down again, I double click at the end, okay, what it's done, it's created um, another hip that has joined my original. So I'll just put the marquee around here, generate a 3D view. You can see what that's done there. Okay. Quite a lovely way in which you can change the shapes 
of uh, the ruse that you make all in one hit. And if I wanted to, again, I could uh, turn, say, that into a gable. Okay, relatively simply. Um, so that's a uh, another aspect of the roof I think you need to get familiar with. Okay, so have a play with that and then we'll keep going and looking at other aspects of the roof that uh, I think are important for you at this stage.